So I was taking a holiday break. Uh, it was supposed to be up until like mid-January. I like to do a soft start so I don't have any major deadlines. Get to play and experiment a lot, especially if I haven't been actually painting in the studio. The beginning of the year can be really tough after I've taken a break from studio work. I haven't quite decided if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It just takes me a while to get back into it. Anyhow, I'm just getting used to these glasses. I haven't ever worn glasses before and these are progressives. So I feel like I'm on a, on a ship. These take getting used to and I tried to do some computer work. I just got them yesterday and it made me so nauseous. That said, this is why I have taken a break like for the last month is because of constant nausea and headaches for my double vision. Um, my eyesight quickly deteriorated. I did get a CT, came back clear. So we're, we're good on that, but now I have to get used to these glasses. So I have a show in two months that opens at Sac State. It's a solo show. For the next two months, I'll be making work and really focusing on getting the work completed for that. The title of the show is Interiors, and it really is a focus on mixed media, collage and paintings. There's a lot of, gosh, I'm not even to the point, honestly, where I, where I can really talk about it yet because I'm, I'm like in the thick of it. And a lot of times with my work, I, I almost don't even know what it's about, like the deeper meaning theme until after I've completed the work, even beyond that a little further, and then it becomes obvious to me. But I just, I know the visual themes and, and the how I want to work, the process, and that's going to be a lot of cut paper, drawing, painting. Uh, I want some dimension in there. I really want raw, rough around the edges, like more energy. That's really what I'm gonna be going for. Uh, right now, I decided I need to get my studio organized and cleaned. That is really for just working on this body of work. I'm gonna be working on a lot of paper and so I need to clean out my flat files. So there will be flat file sale. It's a lot of seconds. I have a lot of print seconds. I'm mean, extremely picky when it comes to sending out prints, like the quality of them. So I have some smaller, there might there's might be a little bit more original work that will go in my studio sale section, um, but it's mainly a lot of works on paper. We'll see, I, I need to go through it. Because next month I'm going to start a lot of uh, printing. I'm gonna do a lot of monoprints, and so I need those flat files for this. Like I have a full, I've got a lot of uh, full sheets of paper. These are going to become a large portion of the show. I did get, I got this new book here. This is Werner's, I don't know how to say that word, nomenclature. <laughs> but they have like, there's, I wish these swatches were bigger, but they're these swatches and the much more earthy colors of all the colors. And so I've been working on like matching some of these. I'm making my own um, color, come on, focus, color cards of how I made it. And that's been a really good challenge. I, I enjoy that. So that's been fun. Um, so one thing I haven't decided is how I'm going to offer this work to you guys. It's a bit of a different gallery situation with this upcoming show is that I get to put it all on my website. And so I just haven't decided when that is. I am allowed to pre-sale things. So as long as they can hang through the end of the show and the show comes down in late May and any of these works will be able to ship. I'm planning on the first week of June, June 1st, let's say. Photographing work, it takes a, that takes a lot of time and effort and you have to be done, you know, um, with the work well in advance in order to get all the files done. So basically I haven't decided how I'm going to release these yet or when the timeline of that. If you see something you love, reach out, message me, email me, we can work something out. Okay, thanks for listening to my update and I hope you're doing well. I'm excited about this upcoming work. It's, it feels really good and can't wait to show you.